I want to welcome everyone to our forum as it relates to Kankakee's next chapter. This is a great night to come out and see what the next chapter is for the city of Kankakee. I'm not going to be before you long. I am excited to hear from our mayor and her team. So without further ado, I present to you the mayor of the city of Kankakee, Chastity Wells Armstrong. for being with us here tonight at our Kankakee Public Library. This morning down at Burris Park, we had a wonderful event where I spoke about my administration's vision for the future of Kankakee. Tonight is about diving a little deeper into that vision and being able to have a conversation with you about the next chapter for our city. I'm going to begin tonight by echoing my words from this morning's event to make sure we are all up to speed on the special announcement I made earlier today. After that, we'll have an open forum where I will take questions from you all about the topics we're presenting on tonight. I'll be joined in that Q&A by members of my team who will help fill in the details of our vision for the city in the years to come. Now I'm pleased to share a portion of my remarks from this morning's event about a new direction for Kankakee. About 130 days ago, a few blocks down the road from here, I stood before our community and was sworn in as mayor of the city of Kankakee. That was a special night, the culmination of so much hard work by so many who believed in a new vision for the future of our city. It was also a night for people from all parts of Kankakee to come together, no matter their candidate, affiliation, ward, or side. That night together, we celebrated our city and lifted up our hopes for a better future. Today, it's time to take an important next step in making sure that our vision for a brighter future becomes a reality. It's time to start writing our city's next chapter with a plan to ensure that all of Kankakee benefits from our collective efforts to provide a better quality of life, a better quality of life in every neighborhood, in every subdivision, in every storefront, hospital, factory, and household in the city of Kankakee. It's time to move Kankakee forward. Earlier this year, I pledge to lead inclusively, strategically, transparently, and fiercely, governing boldly to fight for every resident in this city. This has been my mindset since I took the oath in May. It is how I have approached my work every day since, as our administration took office and began assessing the state of our community. And now, it's what I have in mind as we chart a course towards a brighter future. It's with that spirit that I'm proud to announce the Kankakee Ford Agenda, our city's road to transformational growth. Kankakee Ford is about making our vision for a better community a reality. It's about our shared hopes for what Kankakee can be. It's about turning our dreams for this community into concrete action. And ultimately, it's about delivering results that bring positive change to all parts of this city. I know we all believe in this community, no matter the challenges we may face. This city is full of so much potential. We can build a better future for this city. And Kankakee Ford will represent my administration's work to help us get there. Like any good plan, the Kankakee Ford agenda will adapt as the needs of our city changes in the months and years to come. But for now, I'd like to touch on three core pillars that will be cornerstones of our vision for transformational growth in the city of Kankakee. First, we'll move Kankakee forward with more accessible and effective government. 
As a lifelong social worker, I know how important authentic engagement is to solving problems and delivering results. I believe the same is true of government. I believe stronger connections mean more voices are being heard, more good ideas are coming to light, and more progress is being made for the public. That's why I've committed to live this philosophy of engagement since taking office, connecting with our residents at festivals, social clubs, schools, senior centers, and even as a guest conductor for our municipal band. We've met our residents where they're at online as well, hosting monthly Facebook live forums, being active in responding to Facebook inquiries, and breathing new life into the city's Facebook page to keep the community informed about what's new in Kankakee in both Spanish and English, embracing our entire community. We've promoted transparency at City Hall too, opening the doors of government with new live broadcasts of city council meetings. And we'll keep making efforts to make government more open and focused on transformational growth as a part of Kankakee Ford. At the heart of this will be the work that we've already started to completely overhaul the city's outdated website. We're working to deliver a portal that properly meets the needs of our residents while showcasing the best of Kankakee to the world. Above all, my administration will be dedicated and creative in working to bridge the gap between City Hall and our citizens. That connection is going to make us stronger and it will be the foundation of how we successfully address the challenges to come. The next critical step in moving Kankakee forward comes through improved public safety. As I've said before, our city's recent past saw too much violence and too much fear in our neighborhoods. That's why I pressed for bold action to change our public safety strategy early on in my administration. We're in the process of implementing aggressive community policing in our city. In doing so, We've strengthened partnerships between the police and our residents, helping to better address crime and make our neighborhoods safer. Going forward, our agenda will continue to encourage closer connections between our police department and the residents they serve, delivering more stability for us all. Under the guidance of Acting Kankakee Police Chief Price Dumas, the department will continue to implement initiatives meant to bring police and the community closer together. Chief Dumas deployed more officers on the streets and implemented a new patrolling strategy at public gatherings. He installed regular and more open communication about public safety incidents with city council members and a more regular and active presence from department leadership at local ward meetings. I have been pleased at the progress made this summer under Chief Dumas's leadership, and I know that his department's work will be critical to the success of Kankakee Ford. My administration has also brought reform to our city's fire department, further working to bolster public safety in Kankakee. A few weeks ago, Chief Damon Schultz was approved by the city council, formalizing our work to stabilize leadership at the fire department. I know Chief Schultz and his team will bring first class service to our residents on the road ahead. This administration will be active in working with our public safety departments to support their critical work for our community. In fact, based on feedback from the fire department, we were already able to secure a new ambulance to aid the team. Moving Kankakee forward means protecting this place that we love and our team will be engaged, active, and bold in that effort. Finally, Truly moving Kankakee forward means a renewed focus on maximizing economic development in our community. We will be focused on both job creation and reducing property taxes in order to retain and encourage investment in Kankakee. Growing our local economy will of course mean more jobs, increased revenue for city services, and an elevated quality of life for our residents. I've been active in connecting with local employers since taking office, attending ribbon cuttings, visiting small businesses, and hearing how we can make Kankakee a better place to set up shop. We are working hard to recruit new employers to the area, 
including a new auto lab branch that will be arriving by the end of the year in the first ward and plan to be aggressive ambassadors for the city of Kankakee throughout our region. Traditional outreach is important, but we really need to think big to give the city of Kankakee the boost it needs. That push will include the new overhauled website that I mentioned earlier, a tool that will show off our city and Kankakee brand, while also being a hub of resources that can assist employers interested in setting up shop in our city. Our digital presence is the best way we'll make an impression in the outside world in the digital age. And we're going to work hard to put our best foot forward for the sake of our future. Our bold agenda also includes exploring the opportunities that the beautiful Kankakee River presents to our city. We have already brought a team together to begin studying how other communities in the Chicagoland area like Elgin and Naperville use river environments and how our city might bring new life to our own river. The Kankakee River has been an engine for our community for more than 150 years. It's one of the cleanest rivers in the Midwest and recently it was designated one of 22 rivers in the country as a national water trail. With the right strategic planning, I know the river can be a centerpiece of our progress for the city's next chapter. Just like the river, the economy of the future is dynamic and full of potential. My administration will be dedicated to putting Kankakee in the best spot to navigate that change, thinking creatively to deliver a better life to more people in our community in the years to come. Moving Kankakee forward is not going to be easy. We will face obstacles in our work to bring a brighter future to our city, some that we anticipate, others that we do not. But I am an optimist, and I know that together we can pr make progress for this community. The city is full of many difference makers. Teachers dedicating their lives to helping our kids, entrepreneurs working to breathe new life into downtown and on the riverfront, faith leaders lifting us up, volunteers chipping in when hardship strikes, whether down the street or across the country, and the hardworking people of Kankakee working hard each day to give our children a better life. I see the spirit of the community in these and so many other people in this city, including Kevin Mitch Mitchell. A few weeks ago, we held a contest asking residents to submit ideas ahead of our events today that talked about their vision for Kankakee's future and ways that they thought we could make progress in our city. Among many thoughtful entries, Kevin stood out to me and I asked him to join me alongside other community members for this event. Kevin provided many great suggestions in his note to me from transportation to community-wide development. He's only been here for a few years, but he wrote about how he believes in our city and is excited to help it grow. His closing idea really struck me, and I think it can be an inspiration to us all. Kevin proposed a program for at-risk youth that would pair them with local farmers and gardeners to teach them the art of sustainably growing crops. Later, he thought the kids could sell the crops at the Kankakee Farmers Market, helping them learn about economics, the environment, and the city of Kankakee. I think this image represents some of the best of our city. It's about collaboration in different parts of our community and the sort of teamwork that plants the seeds for a better future. If enough of us can come together in this way, providing our ideas, our talents, and our best efforts to driving our city forward, I know that we can make Kankakee a place where more people can dream, grow, and thrive. That work continues tonight here at our forum. And after that, we'll continue the conversation at City Hall and City Council and throughout the community in the months ahead. I hope you will join us. And I know that if we come together, committed to transformational growth, we will move Kankakee forward in the years to come. 
Thank you.